You guys want to give it a shot? Yeah. All right. Nice. You guys can do it as a group if you want. Right, let's do it. Yeah. So three very easy uh, questions that have to do with common sense. Right. You have to. Hey, what's up? Are you vlogging? Uh, I'm actually doing a YouTube video. Oh. Yeah. You guys want to give it a shot? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Three very easy questions. Common sense. Multiple choice. So they have to do with the orientation of water. So when we have water in a bottle like this, right, and it's at rest, the water will always go to the bottom and push the air to the top, right? Yeah. Regardless of the orientation of the bottle, yeah. water always goes down and put, that's a fact, right? Do you actually have to do with the orientation of water? Okay. So when we have air and water in a bottle like this and it's at rest, the water will always go to the bottom and push the air to the top, yeah. regardless of the orientation of the bottle. Yeah. You know, that's what happens, that's reality, right? So I painted the water blue with food coloring just to make it easier to see, more yeah. apparent. So how I'm showing you these two, like this, which one of these two bottles is not in the correct orientation? This one. Okay, yeah, you got it, you got it. You agree with them? Yeah. 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 How I'm showing you these two, uh, which one is not in the correct orientation? Uh, two. Two. Oh, yeah. You got it. Yeah. Uh, may I ask why you picked two? Uh, the water's uh, on the top. Yeah, you got it. Right. The water can't stick to the top of it. Yeah. That's awesome. you know, so I took it like that. Right. Pretty easy. Right. <laughs> why do you guys say number two? Because the bottom of the bottle right side is like the top. Yeah, the water's at the top, right? The water can't stick to the top, that's obvious. So I actually took it like this. Yeah, yeah you guys got it. That's pretty easy, right? Yeah. So this next one's actually even easier. Again, it has to do with water as well. Have you guys ever heard of water always finds its level? Yeah. So I could deviate the bottle, but water always finds its level, you know, again, because it has no form, you yeah. know? It always forms an equal surface. What could be another word for level? Try to use a different... Balance is a good one. Yeah. Any other? The... Uh. The one word definition will be horizontal because I have I could have a straight line, but if it's in a slope, it's not level. It has to be a horizontal straight line, you know, and, and water shows us that, you know. Uh, so this next one's actually easy as well. So another thing about water, <laughs> another thing about water, I don't know if you ever heard water always finds its level, right? You know, that's why we use these with liquid in them, right? Because I could tilt this, but the water always levels out, right? That's, that's another physics of water, another fact. Um, since we understand that about water, Again, if you have a container and it's at rest, which one of these two represents water being level? A or B? This one's even easier. Even easier, bro. I've never seen this. <laughs> okay, before we get to this one, what could be another word for level? Balance. Balance, right? Horizontal is actually the, the number, uh, the one word definition for level. You know, you guys could look it up, but uh, which one of these two represents level as we know it when we're looking at the water? A or B? Yeah, that's the obvious one, right? Yeah, <laughs> pretty easy, right? Again, since we understand what level means, which one represents level when we're looking at the water? A or B? Oh, oh, I'm looking at the bottom. Yeah, yeah there you go. It's I obvious one, right? I was looking at all this. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just the measurements. Well, here it shows yeah, yeah. deviation. Yeah, no. I'm right here it doesn't. It's yeah, horizontal. All the, uh, the edge. Exactly. So this is the correct answer, right? So this, so this next one is the hardest one. So this is the one that's really going to test your common sense. So. <laughs> This next one, I have two images here, and the reason I call them images is because one of them is a photograph and one of them is CGI. You guys know what CGI is? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so which one is the photograph from these two? You guys can pick them up too if you want nah, to see them I feel like it's gotta be this one. Do you think this one's a photograph? This one's definitely the photograph. That's definitely CGI. Okay. I think that's the uh, photograph. Okay, all of you are saying this is a photograph, right? All right, so this was actually a trick question. They're both okay. CGI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I have two images here, and the reason I call them images is because one of them's a photograph and one yes. of them's CGI. You know, you guys know what CGI is? Yeah. All right, cool. So which one is the photograph from these two? I thought that also for us was CGI. Oh, so you, so I you they put them all together like that because they can't actually take a full picture. Oh, so you think they're both CGI? Yeah. Hey, you got it, man. Holy. You got it. Photographs of the Earth don't hey, exist. You're giving me chills right now, believe it or not. So, why do you think photographs of the Earth don't exist? Uh, it's because they can't, uh, they can't take a photo. Like, it's not photo. Okay, what, what if I told you the real reason why? What if I told you that showing... By the way, these are official NASA images, and they admit they make them on a computer, like you already know. But the real reason why a photograph of the Earth doesn't exist is because these images contradict basic physics. So, there's no, it, so me walking on water, me showing you an image of me walking on water is no different than me showing you these globes. You guys want to know how we know that? 
I don't expect people to get this one because it's obviously impossible to tell just by yeah. looking at it. But there is three reasons why I asked this question. So the first reason is just believing someone opens the door to being deceived, right? Because yeah. you guys believe me that one wants a photograph, that influenced your choice, right? Yeah. The second reason is if we want to determine something is real, an image is not good enough. Because if I showed you an image of me flying or me walking on water, would you believe I could do those things? No, especially if an image defies physics, you yeah. got to throw that image away, right? So it leads me to the main reason why I'm doing this. Do you guys believe the earth is a ball? Uh, is a ball? A ball like this. Yeah, yes. Yeah, right? Yes. So NASA actually admits that they don't take photographs of the earth from space. They actually admit they're all CGI. These are actually official NASA images. Damn. Yeah. So <laughs> the reason and the main reason why they admit that they, they can't take photographs of the earth is because the real reason is because these defy physics, basic physics. You guys want to know how we know that? So NASA claims to have satellites orbiting the Earth, right? So I'm they actually just watching a TikTok on this like, yeah. last night. So, 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 so NASA claims to know the radius of the Earth because they're supposedly going around it, right? So they do tell us the radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles, which means there has to be curvature every mile based on the radius. Yeah. So in the first mile, there's an 8-inch drop, second mile, 32 inches, and by the third mile, there's 6 feet of curvature. And it has to increase because they're claiming a curve, not a slope. Yeah. So that curvature has to increase. So, and you guys know that too. Yes, and so NASA, they claim to have satellites orbiting the Earth, right? And that's how they're supposedly taking these images, right? So they need to know the radius of orbit. So they need to know the radius of the Earth if they're supposedly going around it, right? So they do tell us the radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles. So that means there has to be curvature every mile, and every mile it increases. So in the first mile, there's an 8-inch drop. Second mile, 32 inches. And by the third mile, there should be 6 feet of curvature. So if we actually went out to a giant lake to measure, like, the surface of water, right? Um, the water is going to show us uh, that it's going to be parallel. So if we go back to the measurements again, they're trying to tell us that the surface of water is bending six feet in three miles. But the reality is if we go to any lake that's miles across, especially when it's at rest, that water is going to be perfectly level, horizontal, you know? So this will be the number one experiment to debunk the globe earth claim of physical measurement of water in specific, you know? Because water has properties in physics to it, how it behaves. So by six feet, again, if we went out to a, a large body of water, like a lake that was miles across to physically measure for this curvature, again, we understand how water behaves, the physics of water is gonna show us that the water is gonna be parallel to any, anything above it, right? But they're trying to tell us that every lake on earth is bending eight inches per mile square. But this will be the number one experiment to debunk the global claim yeah. of physical measurement of the earth, you know, using physics, water. So if I was to ask you guys respectfully, what's the number one proof that makes you believe that the earth is a ball? What? What's the number one proof that makes you guys believe that the Earth is a ball? A ball? A ball. You believe the Earth is a sphere? Of course. It is. Yeah. Why do you believe that? Well, because science says. It. What? What science? Observers. People have taken pictures of it. That's what we're talking about. All the pictures if you are showing fly us. Out of it, it'll turn into a circle. No, no. But that's all those images fact, are showing. If you go into plane, you can see the curvature. Oh, I actually have images. How do you explain the aurora borealis? Oh, I don't know what uh, the electromagnetism is coming from the north. I don't know much about it, so I wouldn't give a comment on that. But that doesn't prove the Earth is a ball, I would say. I would say water proves that it's not a ball. So, uh, if I was to ask you guys, respectfully, what's the number one proof that makes you believe the Earth is a ball, if not images? Uh, I would say it's because, I mean, there's clear curvature to me. I feel like... Like, could you see, like, across the Earth? Okay, so, so you're saying let's the horizon. Say, let's say even, like, yeah. like you know how there's, like, two of between the... Sure. And, or, or, like, Which is perfectly level, by the way, but yeah. <laughs> you can see, like, Russia. You can't, you can't see, like, further. Like, I'm talking about, like... Okay, okay, so you're talking about the, like, the horizon, right? So we can't see past this point, right, what's beyond that, right? That's yeah. what you're saying, what right? Do you, what do you think about that? Okay, so, so like, it's very on? simple. So if I, you know, so again, what, what convinces you guys, you know? So it's like a... I saw like a video on it. There's like a light video and like the light changes. Like it doesn't stay. A laser there. experiment? Yeah. So I would say, uh, I don't know if you guys seen the Netflix documentary on this, by the way. It's, it's uh, behind the curve, I think. It's, I would call it a mockumentary. And the reason why is because they focus on laser experiments. What happens when you shine a laser through water? Does it go straight? Exactly, there's refraction. So when you shine a laser through the moisture of the air, there's always going to be refraction. So laser experiments are, uh, they're being pushed uh, on purpose because you're going to get an inconclusive answer. Regardless. A physical measurement like this though, we could create this level structure and physically measure the, the curve. Hold this bottle right here, right? And I start moving away from you, moving away from you. What's going to happen to the bottle in your field of view? But what's going to happen is it's going to look like it's shrinking, right? It's going to get smaller and smaller. So we do have a limit to how far we can see. It's called perspective. So the horizon, I don't know if you knew, is not a physical thing. It's an apparent thing. 
So it's just the limit of how far we can see. This is what I think in my head. Personally, sure. Sure. I'm just going to go with like what seems to be common sense because I feel like even right now, if we're not taking full pictures of the Earth, there's maybe not enough evidence, so it's not enough for time in my life that needs to be used on Okay, so you think it can be proven either or? Is that what well, you're saying? I'm saying it can, but like can? right now it doesn't matter. Or What's more important? The, okay. Why does it matter to us? Okay. What about like the planets and? Oh, okay. So I mean, this. I've, I've yeah. Also been so out there so yeah. So everything myself. that they're showing us about outer space is actually CGI as well, just like the global pictures. Yeah, but you can so, see yeah, but when you're in it. No, 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 no. This but is what the stars driving, actually looks like. Look. But when you're driving. Yeah. It's a circle. No, you're seeing a flat circle around you. That's because that's the limit of our perspective. That's the horizon, which is horizontal. Right, but it goes like this. Yeah, it goes around you. That's the, their limit of view. You're at the center of your field of view, so you create a circle, a flat circle around you. That doesn't mean it's curving. Uh, by the way, this is what the stars look like. Yeah, Nobody knows what's outside of the Earth. The stars are reflecting, if you ask me, on some kind of... People like to claim it's a dome, but I personally don't know what's containing the Earth. Yeah. But the stars... This is using 83 times zoom, by the way. And these are the planets, using the exact same zoom, telling us that they're both in the same distance from us. So they're no more than a few thousand miles, if you ask me. And what are they? I don't know. They just rotate above. So they, they, I don't know if you heard of the constellations, right? Yeah, the reason why they're called the constellations, the stars, is because they're constant. There's no parallax. So they always reset every year. So if we were shooting through space, spinning at four different directions, we would see parallax every night. Every night sky should be different. But the fact is that the stars are constant, and that's why they're constellations. The, the difference between planets and stars is that these, own, these have their unique paths. So they're not fixed with all the other ones. They have their own rotations above us. But again, what are these lights in the sky that twinkle? I don't know. You know, what's, you know, what's the source? If you ask me, whatever created this place, because this is a creation, that's another reason why they lied to us. So this place is a creation, and this sky, I think it was there so that we learn how to navigate this place. Let me, hypothetically, so if we were being lied to about this, hypothetically, right? Because I can't convince you guys in five minutes here, right? Hypothetically, say, like, hypothetically, like do you think this will be something important to know? I mean, schools teach us that, you know, all this bullshit. So, you know, universities, astrophysicists, you know, they, all of these people will be con well, artists, basically. In a lot exposed. of schools need to be taught, because it's like, what are they really teaching you? It's more of a game of memorization. Right, right, right. It's not like, like, too deep. Right, okay, okay. I, so you know what I'm saying? Like the moon fake and oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's laughable, 100%. <laughs> the reason why they even did all that is to convince people that water bends. You know, because they could easily go to a lake and measure this curvature. Why don't they, right? Because it'll debunk their own claim. Physics debunks their claim. So what's your reason that they want to tell us about our bands? Like, what, why do you think they want to do Because they want you to believe your reality is not what it, what it actually is. So if they can make you believe that your reality is something that it's not, then they're going to make you believe, like in the economy, for example, that, that we need to live this way and we need to do this, you know, because the experts are telling us. So it's... It's about, it's kind of a cheap shot in our common sense. That's what they tell us when we're very young, yeah. when Santa Claus, you know, they tell us about Santa Claus. They also tell us about the rope in school. And it's just like a cheap yeah, shot in our... Santa's real though. <laughs> right? Hey, that defies physics, the reindeer, yeah. you know, all that. Again, I ask people, why don't you believe in Santa Claus? And a lot of people won't know how to articulate why. Yeah. And it's, it defies physics. How can you fit billions and billions of, of presents in a bag? How can you travel to billions of houses? You know, it defies yeah. physics. Reindeer flying, you know, that's the reason why Santa Claus is bullshit, because it defies physics. So that's why the globe Earth is bullshit because it defies physics. You so you know? don't think there's ever been people like in space no. and they see the, the Earth like in no. a circle? No, it's all, a, uh, all astronauts are lying 100%. The people under them, like the people at Mission Control, right, that is supposedly looking through camera, those people don't have to be lying. They could just believe what they're being told, but astronauts are 100% lying. Wait, that's a fact. How do you explain gravity? Oh, gravity is the motion of the Earth. So when you release something, it doesn't accelerate down. It's the Earth that comes into so contact. That so you're saying we're moving here. Yes. Upwards. That the Earth, the ground is pressing up against your feet right now. So the Earth is like in constant motion. You know how water's level, right? Yeah. Water's level relative is perpendicular to the so motion vector. Us up then. Oh, it's the Earth. What's the mechanism of the Earth's motion? That's unknown. But, so nobody knows what's outside of the wait, Earth. So like after so they you're go saying, up in the air, they just see a flat surface. surface. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely seeing this. Uh, but they show GoPro cameras like this to warp to show people that are supposedly seeing curvature. But this is what the horizon looks like. So they're definitely seeing this, yeah. but then they show us this. So, so they're lying 100%. Believe that the earth is flat, like I don't believe. I, I understand that the earth is a level plane in constant well, motion. You understand that. Water in specific, water being level and displacing. So like when gravity pulls things towards the center, you think it's just things going the, up? I don't know if you, have you heard of Einstein's theory of relativity? Right. Yeah, have you heard of it? 
he acknowledges the, the reason why they had to come up with that theory is because objects don't accelerate. So when you release this, uh, have you ever seen an air bubble in water? Right? When you have an air bubble in water, right? Air bubble rises. I don't know if you knew that air bubble moves in the direction of acceleration. So if I have an air bubble like this, right, in the center, and I accelerate this this way, the bubble moves in the direction of acceleration, right? What about like... So when you release an object, air bubbles should be pushed down in the direction of acceleration, but bubbles actually just freeze. Well, because it's less dense than water, density, less density is exactly. rises, so air rises. Not because of gravity, but, no, but because but it's less dense. Exactly, but when you release it, that motion disappears of the bubble. When it's in free fall, the reason why it's called free fall is because it's a free body, free from any force. That's the thing though, so like you say, like yeah. gravity goes, I'm like you want to talk physics, like 9.38, so yeah. all things fall at that rate because it's falling downwards. So yeah, I would that's say... That's why you say there's a point where there's free motion, oh, bro. how would you explain that? <laughs> what motion? <laughs> like, let's say if I throw something up, and then it free falls for one second, there's no forces acting on it, but yeah. then it goes back down. It, it loses it's momentum. So, so shouldn't it keep going up then? No, 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 no. So before you guys go, I mean... I think there's more questions about I see. other things that could be solved before that, I guess. So you think there's something else that's more important than... I mean, like, this is one of the oldest questions that we've had, but like... Yeah. And I would say the this Earth is, is working fine right now. Which yeah, because it's a level plane that that's not a ball. That's why it's working. If you lived on a ball, we would fall off of it. You know, water wouldn't bend around a ball. Have you heard of the term sea level? I mean, we yeah, but we don't know like who are we to know? We perfectly know how gravity works, or you know, I right? Don't know. So I feel like just I feel like we should just chill. With, with okay, sure. Well, just before you guys go, before you guys go, because I know you guys seen. Uh, again, images or, or maybe GoPro cameras of people using, you know, to warp, you know, the horizon, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what the horizon looks like without a GoPro, 20 miles in the sky, which is four times higher than airplanes fly. Another thing, the horizon rises with you, again, because it's an apparent thing. You When you rise up, the horizon never goes below your feet. It's always in front of you because you're mm -hmm. only seeing in an extended plane. You know, again, you're increasing your limit of perspective mm -hmm. when you elevate. And again, the horizon should never rise to eye level like this and remain horizontal as well. Again, the reason you can't see past it because, again, you have a limit. So when you elevate, you increase that limit, but you still have a limit. I'm trying to think because still, I can see how, like, sure. the vision could still be curving back in this in these photos. But, and that's, like, the skyline right there in this, right. the dark sky. Sure. This, uh, this one's kind of, like, a less convincing photo. Obviously. Oh, obviously, because of the clouds have well, different shapes. One, but this, these two are more This apparent. one, I think, is less, less convincing because it's just the... Like, the way that it's going. How would you describe the horizon here? Geometrically. I would say also GoPros. So here, let who me knows, show you GoPros. It, so this is the only place you'll see. This is what GoPros do. Yeah, yeah. GoPros. Yeah, exactly. Action cameras. Any action camera. And if you ask me, it was deliberate. The fact that they use these cameras. I mean, lose. if we're moving right now, hypothetically, at a thousand miles an hour with the Earth, right? If I'm holding this up like this, technically this is moving as well. Because everything's moving, right? That's attached to the earth, right? Yeah. When I release this, it automatically starts to lose that speed or that explain, momentum. Explain this then. So it decelerates. Objects decelerate. That, that came to a point where it came to... I threw it up at a certain... You gave it a force, uh -huh. and then it started losing momentum. So then the earth came up at the same time? That doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. Everything's moving right now. When you move this, you're giving it an extra force that goes up, but then it starts to lose the momentum. If you apply a harder force, it goes higher, right? Come on. Depending on the force, that, that's going to lose its momentum eventually, and eventually the earth is going to catch up to it. So it doesn't go down, it just decelerates. So where's all the... Like, that's kind of flawed logic. Why? Where did you, so where does, like, first of all, how does the space keep going up, like... Our floor keeps moving up. Well, you need to look up at the the, the Einstein theory of relativity. Uh, have you heard of the bending and warping of space time? Yeah, yeah. So they their explanation from a globe that the Earth is moving again. Because from a globe, if the Earth is pressing up against us, that will mean the Earth is expanding. So that doesn't make any sense, right? This is where Einstein comes in. He says that Earth creates uh, like a black hole in space at the center of it. So the Earth is being sucked into itself, but it's it's accelerating up to, to basically cancel that out. What about like so the uh, mainstream acknowledges that there's an acceleration up and there's no acceleration down, but they use the bending and warping of space time to basically give a mind numbing explanation for that from a global perspective, because the reality is, is Earth, Earth is just a level plane that's moving. They have to invoke the bending and warping of space time well, to fit this model. Boat, like let's say I went off the coast of California sure. and I got in a boat and just kept going straight. Just... That's not allowed. I'm glad you're asking that what question. You uh, have you heard of the Antarctic Treaty? No. Nah, so it's 47, over 47 nations have signed this treaty that yeah. prevents any independent explorers from going south or in, in a straight line like you're saying. So if there is a dome or a, a, something enclosing this place, yeah. we can find it because so we'll be stopped. An edge of Earth. I wouldn't call it an edge, I would say an end. So because we are being contained, we can't leave the Earth. 
we have air pressure here and the only it's way it's like a spot you just can't go there. exactly but so, nobody's ever found this how does, again how does earth look like to you then i don't know all i, all I know is it's an extended plane nobody knows the layout of it it's just a level plane and who knows how far it extends so someone That's, on like i think nigeria's on like roughly on the other side of the earth like, sure on the other side so if we're term. like almost on the opposite of like nigeria sure. like what are they just spread out? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's just spread out. Gonna... Here, let me show you this map. But this is a PSYOP as well. But I'm sure all of you have seen this map before. But this is just the globe flattened out. So this is a simple illustration of what the Earth could look like if all the layouts of the continents are what they're telling us. The fact is, the sizes, I don't know if you knew, uh, an accurate map of, of like the continents doesn't exist. So well, different maps. Globe, have you, like the surface area so the Mercator globe, map and all these maps. Spread that out exactly so because they spread out Africa. because they're trying to spread it out from a globe perspective. The fact is, this will be a more accurate um, layout of the Earth. But in reality, this is not it. Is it could be completely different still. You know, it could be extra continents over here. There could be other ponds over here. That's the reason why they don't let us go south. People think there could be other Earth ponds in this reality. You know, so high altitude observations. You know, they're using the same effect, but when they're higher up, you know, when yeah, they're well, this high. effect, but, I mean, I still, I can still see, like, curvature. I, I think part of our vision and perspective getting further away could also be our, our vision, like, getting used to curvature. I don't know. Okay, well, the curve. knows how our vision exactly works. Well, I mean, our doctors our, have done enough, but we don't know 100% how our body works. You do know that, you, have you familiar with eye exams? Yeah, but we don't, when know, you, we don't know everything about the brain. Too. No, no, we don't know anything about the brain, but we do. We can understand perspective, though. That's my thing. So I charge when you go to the DMV to get a driver's license, for example, they test your, how far you can see, right? Yeah. Again, it all has to do with perspective and visual acuity because, again, the horizon is just the limit of perspective because we have a limit. That's yeah. how you're able to test your eyes to see if you're able to drive, right? So, again, that's horizon is not a physical thing. So besides the horizon, is there anything else? I mean, if, if you... If, I mean, yeah. to me, I just feel like... How would a uh, how would a disc be in the sky? A disc? Okay, so that's uh, a misrepresentation. Or a, or a box or whatever. <laughs> okay, so the Earth. What's outside of the Earth? Nobody knows what's outside of the Earth. So the environment outside of the Earth what is. You, what do you think the Earth is? Like? The like Earth is a level flight. plane that's in constant motion and is contained somehow. So we have air pressure here, right? Gas, right? Yeah. Air pressure. We have 14.7 psi. That tells me it's, that it's that like that, that air is being pressed. In, it's being contained, basically. They're trying to say it's gravity holding it in. But again, gravity as a pulling force doesn't exist. So the Earth is a contained system that's yeah. moving. So when you release an object, it's not the object that accelerates towards the ground, it's the ground that just comes up to meet it. Because we're, again, we could, we're probably not the only pond here, that's my point. And, extra, and extraterrestrials, extra terra, meaning extra land, could be here. Extraterrestrials are probably here, not up there. You know, That's where the extraterrestrials come from, extra terra, extra Earth, you know? So. I mean, you guys have any questions for me? I mean, I just don't get like, like let's say you're on like the edge of the earth, like you just like fall in space. No, no, or what? Wait, the Earth is being. Con you have to go through this con again. We have to find this containment first. A wall, because like, we have air pressure here, right? Yeah. Uh, have you guys heard of the second law of thermodynamics? It has to do with entropy. So, in order to maintain two opposing pressure systems, like the tire in your car has a higher pressure, you need a solid barrier. Exactly. So, if they're claiming outer space is a negative pressure next to Earth's pressure without a solid barrier, that defies physics is the expansion of a gas into a vacuum. I have in one of these bulbs some bromine and in the other I have a, a vacuum. And if I open the tap between these two you will see spontaneously the bromine rush from one to the other. Now that is the simplest change we can have perhaps because all that happens is a change in entropy. In this case, the expansion into a vacuum, nothing else is involved. There's no energy change, there's no temperature change, there's no change except entropy. So the second law of thermodynamics debunks outer space next to the Earth's pressure without a solid barrier. So the Earth is being contained somehow. I don't know how. It's all in constant motion right now. That's why you have weight. The, the ground is pressing up against your feet right now. It's not you pressing down against the Earth. So that, that's the reality. That's what physics shows. You know, I, I, trust me, I've been in this subject for over six years going on eight years but that's one of the biggest lies believe it or not that objects accelerate down in free fall because from that theory of gravity they're able to explain airplanes flying level uh, water I mean air pressure you know staying to the ball and water bending around a ball and, and planets orbiting it's all on that premise of, of a magical force that accelerates this down but the reality is it's the earth that's moving up to it 
from a globe perspective because they acknowledge this actually yeah, we're going to differ now, but oh no worries my man. final thoughts sure, sure i think that uh i think that there's just other problems in the world that we should be solving you know okay i feel like i feel like this just isn't like a main problem to okay me. I would say that's, that's your opinion, and I respect your opinion. But yeah, thanks for the chat, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You too, man. Hey, thank you, man. <laughs> All right. It makes less sense to you than like. So the atmosphere is what, in your theory, is that it's being both. it's being contained, and that's why the air has pressure because it's pressing <laughs> up against. But the, the only way to explain the atmosphere is the gravity, because they're pulling everything together. Gases would just dissipate to space. I would say that gravity again, a pulling force that accelerates objects but towards it would the ground. It down like this, not like a dome. That's my point, though. And a force that can accelerate things towards the ground doesn't exist. So if this is doesn't exist. the earth, if it's in my hand, air is pulling it all around. Mm -hmm. I, I, you should look up the, the Einstein's theory of relativity or look up on YouTube. All right, all right. Let me give you guys this flyer, and then you guys can maybe check it out later. I go to universities right. and have this conversation. Thank you. I mean, you guys have a good one. Sure, I'm going to add that to you. Here, you, you can have one too here. Check it out. Yeah.